Hi. Hi, everybody. This is Belle. This is Allie. And we are here from PCU, Pop Culture Uncovered. And we are talking about, if you can tell from the music, Westworld. Drunk Review! Woohoo! Oh, boy. Holy Father's Day special. Yeah. Um, the most intense and depressing Father's Day episode I've seen in quite some time on television, so that's nice. Um, do we want to start with the good, or do we just want to go straight into the awful? I, I think we can do a mixture, because there was a mixture of everything. Okay. Um, Let's go with uh, William. William. Yeah. So we found out a lot about our... Our boy William. Our guy. Trash fire. Such a garbage fire, William. And is. all of his delusions. The homeboy thinks he's a host. <laughs> Bitch, you're not a host. He even has a car. He, you're not a host. Which? All of that is you, you trash fire. That's all you. I mean, Ugh. So, yeah, we, we found out, um, in fact, why his wife... Killed herself. Yeah, she was like, I, I cannot live in this world anymore. Yeah. Ironically enough. Yeah. And she said it, it, it was interesting that Emily said to Akechita, who I love, who I have always loved, and I just love that we got a full episode of him um, in the previous episode, that Emily was like, I have something so much worse planned for him than death, not knowing what was going to happen, obviously, that she was going to be the worst thing in death. Um, yeah, I kind of saw it coming that William felt everything was a uh, delusion and that everyone was host. What did she say? It was a test by Ford. That's everything yeah. is for testing him. It's another part of the game. Yeah. It's like you've lived so long in this virtual reality, being your worst self, living your worst life, that you don't have any clue what the real world is anymore. And no appreciation for all the gifts that you've been given. And, you know, Juliet said it best, he's a cancer. He systematically destroyed her entire family, more than she even knew, with Emily's death. Um, it's such a Greek tragedy, and uh, Ron pointed out that it's interesting that he, the book that he hid, he hid it in was Paul Tark, because it's, that he hid his card in, yeah. was Paul Tark, and he was like, because that whole Paul Tark's musing and philosophy was about, like, what the consequences of your actual actions are. So I thought it was interesting. Wow. Yeah, the show is I so think, I subtle. Think, yeah, I didn't even catch that. The show is so smart and it's so, so subtle. Um, so yeah, William has gone completely off the rails. And the fact that he thinks he's a host now. I was talking to someone online about this, and I was like, "What would be worse, finding out that he was a host because he hates the host, or finding out that he's..." human and that every choice was his and I think the ultimate revenge for Ford is that he's completely human yeah so everything you've done is you that's all you fam you made these choices um so I, I really it should be really interesting to see how that 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 realization going into the next episode goes on the uh, and again with William he Okay, he wasn't a monster. Westworld brought the monster out in him. Ever since the first time he was there, he got that little bit of taste of what he really is like, and he never wanted to turn back. Mm -hmm. And it was just so disgusting. Westworld, Seeing his reaction, yeah. that his wife did actually commit suicide. Yeah. And for all that time, yeah, he did hide what was actually said to his wife yeah. right before it happened. Yeah. And was fine with putting her in an institution to keep gaslighting her and making her think she was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So and then she, what she did, she self medicated. Yep. So then we have Ford and Maeve. 
Um, as I said online, Ford, uh, Maeve and Dolores are like the twin children of Ford and Arnold. And Maeve got all the good qualities and Dolores got all the fuckery. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I Maeve, that whole scene, like for some people it was creepy because she was on the table. But for me, it was a father watching his daughter dying and making a desperate ploy to save her. Mm -hmm. He was not, he's not going to let her die. There's nothing that's going to let Ford allow Maeve to die. Period. Full stop. Maeve, Dolores, I think that he could he would let Dolores die before he let Maeve or Bernard or Akechita die. Because all three of them, because of what Bernard represents, because of what Maeve and Akechita did on their own, they had those two were off on their own hi R2, were off on their own journey and Ford didn't even realize it and once he did he didn't try to stifle it. Yeah. He went he allowed them to grow. So I think that if anything if they were ever in any serious trouble, which Maeve is in, as of still in as of this episode, he's going to burn that place to the ground to protect them. And I am here for it. Yeah. Um so that whole scene, it actually was so, to me, it was so touching. With Maeve. With Maeve. The scenes with Maeve. When he was like, I never had children of my own, but if I had, you are, the, you are my daughter. And you stayed to save your child, even though I tried to get you out. So it looks like I have to stay to save mine. That just got me. It got me right in my heart. I was like, that's right. Y'all yeah. gonna pay. <laughs> For what you did to his baby. It was great. And I realized that they had never shared a scene together. Mm -hmm. She has shared scenes with Bernard and Dolores and Teddy. But she and Ford have never had shared a scene together until that. And I think it made it more impactful because they did. Mm -hmm. Then you have Bernard and Elsie. The only good parent, father-daughter relationship on this show. Oh, my God. Him knowing how much it would hurt her, but still sending her away. Yeah, to protect her. To protect her. And her face, where she knew that's what he was doing, but she was still mad. She was, well, it was so cute. It shouldn't have been, it was so cute because Shannon Wooden is so cute. Yes. And I'm just like, she was like, fuck yeah. you, Bernard. And, like, and now she's alone, too. And she was finally with somebody that she did trust. Mm -hmm. I'm and like, baby, just hide. And it's like, who are you going to, who do you trust in this world? That's why he gave her that device. I'm going to on it. Because we don't know what's on that thing. But he gave her something and he to basically to protect her and save her from both Della's and the host. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering what's on that. She has the power. She does. So speaking of Elsie, I think we can both agree we want Elsie and Stubbs to be the only humans who make it out alive. Everybody else can burn as far as I'm as far as, far as I'm Felix. concerned. Felix! So we want Elsie, Stubbs, and Felix to make it out alive. Lee. Maybe. Now that he's finally seen the error of his ways. Yeah. Um, he could be useful. He could be useful. But Felix, Elsie, and Stubbs have earned yeah. the right to not get murdered. Uh -huh. Yeah. Although I still think because irony is a thing, and this is Westworld, Charlotte's going to make it out alive. What do you think? I mean, she's so ruthless. Well, she's got to. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna have to keep some of those kind of characters around for the next season. Ooh, what about Strand? Oh, forgot about that. Wow. I mean, because Kotlin got the brakes beaten off of him by Teddy. It was amazing. It was everything I didn't know I wanted. <laughs> I'm like, he did. Yeah, he did. He that. super did. He super did. Uh, um. So, do you want Strand? Do you think Strand's gonna make it out? I'm gonna say no, just because I honestly, I can't remember the last time I saw the space. Well, I think of the two characters, Charlotte's more intriguing too. Yeah, she's good. She's a more. But I could have, if he hadn't been here this season, I wouldn't have. It wouldn't have suffered. No, honestly. More power. I mean, there are a lot of powerful um, women in this show. Yeah. So they'll probably keep that dynamic. Yeah. You need to have at least I one mean, human woman, yeah. especially with Teresa so on. Yeah. Because um, Teresa was just like. I'm just trying to do my job, fam. Yeah. And not let this place go off the rails. Too late. So, too late. Little 
I would pour some out for Teresa because I liked her. I genuinely did, but I'm not wasting it. I'll pour it in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god. In my mouth. So I'll pour it in my mouth. Um who what do we want to see in the season finale? So Season finale, I do want to see a glimpse of one of the other worlds. Yes. Um, definitely. Talking about it earlier, how the tiger was... From like, the Raj. Yeah. Um, drifted up on the shore. I think there's a possibility... Because, I mean, it's got to be happening in the other worlds. Yes. Um, I think something from one of those worlds is going to wash up on the shore or something. I mean, there's the futuristic world. Maybe it's going to drop through, through the sky. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I mean, um, there are th in in the canon of the films, there are three other worlds. There's Roman world, medieval world, and future world. Mm -hmm. So something coming from one of those worlds is entirely possible. Yeah. Um, and how that affects everyone? You think everyone's going to flee to one of those worlds? I, I mean, I think eventually a lot of it's just going to be a whole lot of brawl and mayhem and fire and. Death. It's gonna Ooh. be. It's gonna be absolute carnage. What if there's dragons in medieval world? What if Game of Thrones is medieval world? That would be amazing. <laughs> so I don't know if you caught this, guys. Because the Game of Thrones cast is huge fans of Westworld and vice versa. So I don't know how many people caught this, but Kit Harrington was on the beach of all the hosts that were flung drifting on the shore in the first episode. I did not see that. Yes, if you rewatch the first episode, one of the bodies that they pan by that's laying in the water is Kit Harrington, or someone who looks remarkably like him. And I was like, that is amazing, which makes me wonder if Medieval World will look like Game of Thrones, because that would be fantastic. And I, I am here for I that. Would, yes. I am here for that. Even if it's just oblique and a, like a very obligatory reference, I would be okay with that. That would be spectacular. That would be fantastic. Or if all the big characters on Game of Thrones were the characters <laughs> on the Yes! Oh my uh, God. You could populate the entire medieval world with those guys. Oh, yeah. there. There's a lot. Well, and they can have one dragon. Yes, just one. Oh. So, going into the finale, what do we want to see? Finale, um, there's Definitely people. So many people are going to die. Um, I think that's a lot of humans. I think a lot more humans are going to die. We didn't talk about the big death this week. Teddy. Oh, Teddy. Talk about a big death. Um, yeah. That was, okay. So, she destroyed everything she loved about him. And it literally backfired. I'm actually starting to cry. Yeah, backfired. Um, to see the man that you love and you destroyed him because you thought changing him would be the right thing. First of all, you did not change the you person don't that you love. change the person you love. And with that being said, because you changed the goodness in him, he wound up killing himself in front of you. He was going to protect you to the day that he died and he no longer could live. With himself. Would you turn him to? It you was, turned me into a monster. It was disgusting. It, 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 it was disgusting. It was awful. I, I mean... And as I said, thank you Westworld for having a female character do something awful and get actual consequences for it. Cough. <coughs> Legion. <coughs> MCU. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that broke me. And can we just talk about how good... We don't have a lot of time, but I just... James Marsden... The work he did this season, he was so good last year, but this season, the subtle work he did, showing how he was fighting the programming the entire time, and when you knew what he was going to do, and even knowing what he was going to do, and it wasn't because of what he was saying, because of his eyes yeah. and his body language. He was broken. He is one of the best actors of our generation who gets no freaking credit for it because he's so beautiful. And because of Cyclops. Yeah. And I just, well, you saw my piece on that. I'm like, he needs to be Cyclops again. No! But with proper writing, <laughs> where he's not no. useless or a douchebag. No. Uh, but that's a whole other conversation. Um, that, when he shot himself, 
I'm not kidding, and I'm just talking about it upsets me, I burst into tears. It was so upsetting, even though I knew it was coming. Because I knew she, I was like, he's either going to go crazy or he's going to kill himself. It's, there's no in between. So knowing that, and but seeing it was just, it was hard. It was so hard. And I don't know how you come back for Even if they bring James Morrison back, it's not going to be Teddy. It's not going to be the it's Teddy we know. Teddy, yeah. It'll be someone else's, it'll be something else. It'll be one of the humans that they can download it or something, but it won't be Teddy. Um, so, oof, that hurt me. Yeah. That hurt me. And honestly, Teddy's death, even though I've been calling it all season, when I realized that the opening credits were the final shot and the opening credits was the bottom of his hat. That's the final shot of the opening credits. Oh. I realized at the second episode that it's his hat watching it floating from underwater. And so I knew he was going to die. Yeah. yeah. I was that. Yeah. I knew he was going to die. You always pay attention to the opening credits because they change slightly every, every yeah. week too. So I knew it was going to be him. Um, but it's going to be her demise. She, it's going to be the beginning of the end for Dolores. She's, she's going to have, she had always had a protector. He was going to be there for her no matter what. And she's going to find herself in a situation where I think she will get to the outside world finally, but that's where she's going to die. And that could have been a place where he would have protected her. Yep. And yep. it's all her, it's all her doing. It's just like William. It's all you did this doing. to yourself. It's well, like you said, doing. William, Dolores was made for William. She was reprogrammed for William. She's his perfect match, and they deserve each other. They deserve they each other. Exactly. Um, top five things you want to see in the finale. Uh, top five. All right. So, top, number one, I really do want to see Maeve get out of there, heal, get her daughter, yes. finally. Yes. I want, and especially now that the daughter is awake, awake. they can reunite. Um, I want more of the forces to come together. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that could be some of the other so worlds. Number two. Um, worlds eventually coming together. And just, I mean, especially the, um, the ghost smacked out on these freaking I'm humans. really waiting for Ghost Nation to get the the vengeance that Native Americans in real life have never gotten. Yeah. I like, really do. I mean, when he went and saw his wife just... That frozen. whole speech. Oh, my God. My grief is selfish because everyone in here... God. So... The show. Yeah. God, the show. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three. Vengeance. Um... <laughs> um Four. Uh, everybody's, everyone's going to die eventually. Um, some of this is going to get out, too. Yeah, so they're going to make it to the real world. There's, there's going to be some of that, because right now, nobody knows what's going on on this little nope. island. Nope. So, I, well, I don't think we'll see that next episode. I don't think we'll see that until season three, season three. But eventually that is going to happen. Um, and again, it could be just Dolores leaving being killed and that's the leak to the outside that this was going on this entire time. Yeah. Um, was, that, was that five? I think so. Okay, we'll just say it's five. This okay. is a really good drink. It is very good drink. I got a good alcohol. Yay. Um, my top five. I want Felix, Elsie, and Subs to somehow meet up and help the host. I actually really want those three because all three of them are just disgusted with Delos. You can see it in their faces. All three of them coming from three completely different perspectives. And they are all just disgusted with what they found out so yeah. far. So I want to see the three of them work oh, with Felix. I love oh. Felix. Felix will make it. Felix will make it because he's loyal to Maeve. Maeve is going to make it. Maeve is going to make it. Do we think that um, Armistice and Hector and, um, oh, no, I can't remember the beautiful girl. Who joined up with them for Showdown World? Can't remember his name. Do you think they're going to get out? No. 
I think they're gonna bring in more characters from the other work, from the other. Because we know that there are six parts. Yeah. So we saw the Raj. Mm -hmm. We saw Westworld. We've saw we've seen Shogun World. Mm -hmm. So there's three more parts that we haven't seen yet. So from the movies, we know that there's Roman worlds and future worlds and medieval worlds. Okay. Future world. Yeah. So I'm wondering if we're going to see those three next season, or if they're going to have to flee and get to those three worlds. Or something might show up on the shore. Ooh. Yeah, so she says this last episode started from where the first episode began. We had a lion or um, we had a tiger. A tiger, excuse me, a tiger wash up. up. Maybe yeah. there's gonna be something else that washes up. That one was from the Raj, but whoever who knows what else might be coming. Yeah. Alright. So Some aliens maybe. <laughs> wouldn't that be hilarious? That'd be really cute if they're like cut hands. That would make me happy. Love Please don't be calling. Love Love oh, I ask. I don't ask for much. You can put like a. I, I ask. Remix of that. I love Kelly. No. Yeah. And. 